Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. I have a special treat for you tonight, the Stampers Dozen Blog Hop. We are featuring fun folds. You guys know if you follow me that I am a fun fold fanatic. I love the fun folds. So I have a brand new fun fold that I've never done before to share with you tonight. And I'm going to be featuring the Darling Donkey stamp set. This is free with your $50 order before the end of February. So let's get started and I'll show you what I made. Who's ready to make some fun cards? I'm just kind of giddy about these because they turned out so nice. I absolutely love them. Besides the Darling Donkeys, I'm also going to be using the Oh So Ombre 6x6 Designer Series paper. Now you get an entire pack of this in these beautiful ombre patterns. They're absolutely gorgeous, very soft, fun, polka dots, solids. Love them. And they come in Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Rococo Rose. So that's the colors that they coordinate with. Now, these are also free with a $50 order. So, this all goes down February 28th is the end of celebration. I just want you guys to know that. So, if you don't have one of these brochures, you're going to find a link to this on my blog. And my blog address is right here. But everything in here that's shown is free with your $50 order or your $100 order. So, take a look at that. You definitely want to capitalize when things are free. At least that's the way I always am. So we're going to be using Darling Donkeys. And I have had so much fun with this little stamp set. Um, it's hysterical. Let's get our cardstock in here. We have a piece of whis this Whisper White. We don't have Whisper White anymore. Basic White, 5.5 by 8.5. And, and I've already scored it at 4 and a quarter. I've got a basic white envelope here, a piece of the Oso Ombre in Bermuda Bay, and this is two and a half by six. Now you're going to find all of these dimensions on my blog with the blog post for these cards, so you can always refer to that. Then I've got Bermuda Bay here, and this is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. I've got a piece of designer series paper that's going to go right on top of that, that is two and three quarters by four. And then I've got several, uh, oops, I see I'm missing some scraps here. Okay, now we're good. You need four pieces of Bermuda Bay that are one and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then four pieces of designer paper that are one by four. So I'm gonna use the polka dot and also the solid ombre. I also have a scrap of Whisper White here, and we are going to be taking, whoops, the stitched nested labels. I'm grabbing this one that's right here, and I'm going to die cut this on my scrap of white. So here we have that, and don't you just love the stitched edge? I love the stitching on these. I'm bringing in Bermuda Bay and my Memento Black ink pad. And I've got my stamps all mounted here. We're going to do our stamping first. And I've got Memento Black ink. Now I'm gonna use this ink because we're gonna be coloring with the Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. So here comes my little donkey, and I just smudged it. And that's why I always have a backup. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. much better. Okay. I'm going to open up my Bermuda Bay here and I've got the um, Hey There Friend and also the Hee Haw. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Hee Haw and I'm going to stamp it right up the top of my label. Okay. Now we're going to do our coloring. So let's set that aside. I'm using basic gray, ivory, no, I'm sorry, this is smoky slate, light and dark, ivory, and a color lifter. I always like to use my dark marker first, 
and then blend from there. So my donkey is actually going to be gray. And I just like to put those little shadows in that are going to make this blend really nicely. And I'm going to come in with my lighter smoky slate and we're going to start blending. And I love the magic of these. Do you see where you see the definite dark and light? I just think that is so not attractive. So if you keep coloring over top of it, it will blend those markers in and then it looks like you've added shading. And of course, then you look like an artist, and I like that. And I love that you do not get the scribble marks with the alcohol blends. Let's see, I got a little bit more up here on the ear. Blend that in there. And then I'm going to keep blending this until it's blended. <laughs> and this. There we go. And then I'm going to bring that dark back in because I forgot to do the muzzle of the donkey. Make that a little bit darker than the rest. I think I'd like to take a little bit of color off right here. And you just do that with your color lifter. Make that a little bit lighter. You can also use it to erase mistakes. And here comes the ivory. Now, I thought the ivory was a little dark. And that's why I really had this out here. I'm going to just lighten it up a little bit. Now you can use this. And again, it's a color lifter. So whatever color you choose to use, it's going to lighten it up a little bit. You can see that makes a big difference. And then we need to color our little flower. And I'm going to color mine Bermuda Bay. And then I've got some Granny Apple here for the flower stem. There we go. Isn't that cute? I love these donkeys. Okay, now we can start working on our card. Pull my paper trimmer in here. We've got our five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of basic white thick cardstock, and I've already scored it at four and a quarter. Now, what you need to do is you need to cut in on the front only one and a quarter inches and one and a quarter inches, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to slide this right up to one and a quarter inches, and now I'm going to cut down to my score line. You don't want to go over your score line, just down to it. And I see I need to do just a little bit more. There we go, right to our score line. I'm going to turn it around. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the front of the card and cut right to my score line. So this is what I have. Now we're going to take and fold our card in half, Oops. grab my bone folder here, and get a good crisp burnish on that edge. I think I'm going to fold it this way because I can feel some ridges where I cut it, and this way they'll be on the inside and won't be noticeable. Ridges meaning little ridges right there. Okay, we are ready to start assembling all these little pieces. Now I know this looks a little bit crazy. Don't let it fool you. This is a really, really easy little card layout that is going to wow your friends and family. They are going to go, wow, serious skills here. <laughs> then we've got these four panels, and these four panels are just going to get these four pieces. I 
just made a fun moving card with the Darling Donkeys, and it's going to be part of our um, Stamp Happy Live. You can find out all the information about that on my blog. Just look for Stamp Happy Academy, and you will see all the goodies that have to do with that. Okay, so I'm going to take... I want my ombre dark to start up here, and it doesn't really matter, it's just my preference. So I'm going to take these two pieces, they're gonna get glued in place here. But before I do that, I am going to stamp my Hey There Friend sentiment. And you could stamp anything you want there. I'll show you the insides of the other cards that I made because I made two more in the other two other colors with the same layout, just a little bit different. Okay, so I am going to glue this right in place. Do you like the very thin eighth inch margin? Oh, hang on, I kind of got that one crooked. There we go, we're gonna pull it over just a little bit. That's why I like using liquid glue. This is our multi-purpose liquid glue. And with this Oso Ombre paper, I'm making sure that the darker is at the top on both of these pieces. And now we're gonna close this. We're gonna bring in this piece and I'm gonna have the darker at the top here too. Doesn't matter, just my preference again. I don't know why I'm so weird about it, but we all have our little weird things, don't we? Okay, so there we go with that. I'm using the solid ones on the front, meaning the solid ombre. They don't have any polka dots on them. And I'm also doing the dark at the top, so it kind of goes along with the center panel. Get that. And this. a lot of layering on this. Then I forgot to tell you we need a one inch by five and a half inch piece and this piece is going to be like a bridge across the front. So I'm going to put that all the way over to the side here and I just want to take a look at it make sure it's straight before I add some glue right here to glue it down on the other side. Now wait until you see what this does because it's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna put some dimensionals on here. And here and here. I want this to be good and stable. My little donkey layer is gonna go right here. Oh, I could have put, I'm gonna put one more dimensional under there. Put three on, that'll work. Okay, and then I want to do some baker's twine. Are you ready for this? Ready? Ha! Ah, look at that. Ha! Ah, isn't that cool? So this is like a center panel bridge card. I don't know what you would call it. I'll show you my other ones that I made in just a second. They're really cool and a little different. And then I'll show you where I got the idea from because it came from one of my team members. And um, her name is Patty and she makes the coolest stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this so I can work with it a little better. I just wanna wrap this around here a few times. I thought this would be kind of a neat look. This is the white baker's time twine that comes with the, it comes with the um, snail mail twine combo pack. You get the blushing bride and the white both in a container. In a package and I'm just going to tie this in a bow. You could tie it in a knot if you wanted to. That would look great too. There we go. Here's our cute little bow. Let me see if I can get it straightened out a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh. Isn't that adorable? Okay. Then we've got this envelope and if you follow me you know that I love my envelopes to be decorated whether it's with designer paper or stamped on. I'm going to put my this is a two and a half by six inch piece of the Oso Ombre. 
designer series paper and then I just use the flap from the back to trim around the edge. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? To go with my oh so cute. Ah. Hi there friend. Hey there friend. Hee haw. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, so hang tight. I also have this in the granny apple green. Oh, let me put this away. Granny apple green is one of the coordinating colors with the paper and this one, you're the best. Now you can see my donkey is colored with the soft suede markers and it's also going the other way here. Which one do you guys like better? Here comes one more, a tiny bit different. This one is the Blackberry Bliss. My donkey is gray and white. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I flicked a marker on these two and I forgot to do that here. Hang on just a second and I will do that. I'm going to put some scrap paper in there and I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to flick some color on my little donkey layer just like that. Isn't that cute? I love the way that looks. Okay and we have one more Blackberry Bliss. Did I already show you this one? I don't remember. Anyways, Blackberry Bliss, gray donkey, gray and white. I tied a bow with three pieces of the white baker's twine. And again, this is a bridge. And then you've got the center. It says, it's your birthday. Isn't that cute? Did I put my little pieces on there? I did. Those little dotty things. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Anyways, Super cute cards, right? With the Oso oh Ombre, free with your $50 order. Darling Donkeys, these are only available until the February 28th. This is where the whole idea came from. This is our sweet strawberry stamp set. You can get this designer series paper. It's listed in the back of the celebration brochure. You get it with a Berry Blessing stamp set free with a $100 order because you're getting a nice stamp set and a pack of paper. So if your order is $100, you can get this paper and the Berry stamp set free. There's a coordinating stamp set in our mini catalog called Sweet Strawberry. So make sure you check that out because there's a punch too. But look at how cute that is. Thank you. This was made by one of my team members, Patty Skiba, and Patty is she makes beautiful cards, of course, and I just fell in love with this, and I thought, ooh, I must make. And so this is the one that I came up with. Same exact layout. All right, you guys, now don't forget, this is a blog hop. So you're gonna wanna click right up here, head over to my blog, you're gonna look for these cards, and then under the card pictures is going to be a list of other people that are in this blog hop. They're all making fun folds tonight. So, it's going to be super cool. Don't miss it. Also, don't forget, um, Stamp Happy Academy is my new membership website I'm doing in collaboration with my friends Dina and Barb. You'll also find all the information about that on my blog. Address is right here. I always appreciate your orders. If your order is under $150, please use my host code right here. You're going to find an online ordering button on the right-hand side of my blog or at the bottom of every blog post. We also just released our spring virtual retreat. This is going to be a fantastic retreat. It's $129. You get $100 worth of Stampin' Up! products in your retreat box. So, big swag box. You're going to love it. And also, don't forget, Celebration is the best time to join as a discount shopper or a business builder. It's completely up to you. But if you're not getting a discount on your Stampin' Up! products, you really should be. Contact me. I'll give you all the information about that. Head over here for the blog hop. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And have yourselves a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.